Back again. Have you been to the ruins yet? Time is running short. If you don't find the missing piece of your amulet, the Lotus Assassins will. Sun Lee warned me that others might come, but all is not lost. The Lotus Assassins have a piece of the amulet, but so do you. Victory is far from decided. Whatever the outcome may be, my part in these events is over. Now that you have been to the ruins, I may finally take my leave of this town. I have served Sun Lee for many years, but there comes a time when all service must end. My final task was to direct you to the ruins. Now, I am no longer bound. And so I step away. I have no further part to play, and I am glad for it. Perhaps history will clear my doubts and show my time was worthwhile. I wish you luck. Okay, so after that piece of business has been taken care of, we can finally move on to the next sort of level in this area. Um, we're going to go find our old buddy Rue at his barge. I swear, Rue's probably projectile vomiting right into the river because he's drank too much booze already. God, <laughs> drunk bastard. There you are! <laughs> I confess that when I got down here, I wasn't sure I actually met you. Too much wine in me. I thought you might have been a dream. But, here we are! I can take you to the pirates if you still want to go. It'll be an easy trip. The river is quite tame again since you closed the dam. No danger at all. Uh, until you meet the pirates. I swear, if these pirates give me a friendly greeting, I will lose it on them. I'll take you. And if the pirates slate your throat and dump your body in the river, I'll bring you back to town for a nice burial. If they leave your body on land, you're out of luck. I guess I'll have to trust you, but I really don't like boats. Or the water. I can take you no farther. Be wary in this place. Pirates everywhere. Of course! You can count on me. If any pirates come by and try to take my barge, I'll show them how well I use my paddle. Uh, good luck to you in there, and if you need to leave in a hurry, just come running. Welcome to paradise. Well, it would be paradise uh, if it were not for this fat drunk guy by the boat, and the assassins, and the pirates, elephant demons, horse demons, Inquisitor Lim, Gal the Greater, and you know what, that being said, this place actually is a paradise. It does kind of suck. Uh, a lot. Nikno ir kut fan son mi son u fir nawas wasa ir son what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Your brothers inside made me clean up their chicken bones. I came as soon as I finished, but in my haste I tripped and fell down the stairs. Wasa ir atanopa uno fakir ukno aku. Uno wir apa wafa ir ukir ukir wo ifer. Wasa ir atanopa uno fakir ukno aku. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't beat me! I'll get the wine and some food, yes? Another reason why I like ninjas much better than pirates. Pirates will make you look like a little bitch in front of your friends, while ninjas will just straight up kill your ass. And your friends. And, you know, probably your family too. Trip me, make me crawl like a dog, and yeah, this'll teach them a lesson they won't forget. Come on, stupid rope, come on. Make them sorry they ever... Huh? Wait, don't hurt me, I was just, uh... Hey. You're no pirate. I remember the face of everyone I used to sail with, and I've never seen you before. My name's Chung. Once I was a pirate on the river, but things were different then. We took pride in our work. We were professionals. Not like these lazy, drunken louts. 
The younger pirates used to look up to me. Now they treat me like dirt. They treat me worse than that slave cleaning the pier. But I'm gonna get even. I'll show them. I thought that's all pirates for were drunken, lazy louts. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong here, but pirates and professional in the same sentence is kind of paradoxical if you think about it. Wait a minute. I want to see the pirates get what's coming to them. But there's no point in doing this the hard way. Those drunks on the pier were supposed to unload the ship, but they're too lazy to finish the job. They left a cannon suspended above the dock, supported by this single rope. One quick pull and that cannon comes crashing down, taking out the dock and anyone on it. But my old bones can't pull hard enough to loosen the knots in the rope. Wow, all you have to do is loosen that rope? This is going to be easier than I thought. Jeez, stupid pirates. <laughs> That'll teach the lazy fools to leave equipment half unloaded. They don't deserve to be called pirates. Go on. Give the rope a pull, and give them what they got coming. <laughs> Did you see the looks on their faces when that cannon hit them? Now they're feeding fish at the bottom of the river. Mm, too bad about the kid, though. You know, back in my day, we weren't stupid enough to fall for a trick like that. Gao ruined everything. I tried to tell them, but nobody listened. You'd think the Lotus Assassins would have been a warning. Even a pirate knows better than to get mixed up with them. Gao the Greater, as he calls himself, is the leader of the Guild, a powerful crime syndicate. They never used to bother with us until Gao came to power. Gao himself came and took over our operations. He began building the flyers, and he made slaving our main activity. My own men turned on me. Now they treat me like a dog. A few months later, the Lotus Assassin showed up. Gao must have some kind of deal worked out with them. Whatever they're up to, it must be something big. They showed up shortly after Gao took over, working with him and his guild. Inquisitor Lim seems to be in charge of the Lotus Assassins here. Gao and Lim don't get along. They both like to be in charge. Be careful if you run into Lim. There's something very wrong about him. He smells like shit. Back in my day, a pirate ship stayed on the water where it belonged. Now they've got some kind of factory up on the top floor where they build those blasted airships. There's something suspicious about those airships. Sure, the pirates use them, but I think that's just a cover so the Lotus Assassins can come and go as they please. Watch yourself in this place. One minute you're on top, and the next you're on the bottom, bowing and scraping. Oh, I thought he was going to make reference to the people that I just massacred. You know, oh, one minute you're on top, next minute you're on the bottom of the ocean, dead as shit. Ha ha. Anyways, we're going to be encountering some pirates here pretty soon. What I find kind of funny is that there are no gun-toting pirates in the Jade Empire. Oh no. <laughs> Fuckers thought there was gonna be a Pirates of the Caribbean style battle. What bullshit! Well, you actually do encounter an enemy with a gun style in the Imperial City, so, you know, still some guns in here somehow. But, um, you know, these pirates just wield your standard swords or staffs or. Well, actually, that's pretty much it. Of course, all the pirates have these cool friggin' karate pirate moves. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know either. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, a little bit of action, a little bit of dialogue makes things more interesting, hopefully, for you guys.
slaves. You'll pay for that, maggot. <laughs> Will I? If you scum have any sense at all, you'll stand aside. Let me go drive a blade through your master's throat and I'll forget I saw you. Oh, certainly. We'll sit back and let you stroll upstairs to kill our leader. Would it help if we drew you a map to his room? I wasn't serious, you idiot. We're going to kill this intruder and go back to our drinking. He's just one man. He can't beat all of us. Look around. The odds are not so much in your favor. There's still a chance for you to run. What are you talking about, fool? You haven't noticed my partner over there watching us? He spent his entire lifetime learning how to kill dogs like you. This is your last chance. So, the thief brought a friend. That just means you won't die alone. Attack! Won't die alone. Partner. <sighs> Guys, I'm not I'm not gay with this this blue bastard. I mean, I don't know what you guys are thinking. I'll just have to kill you swiftly for such assumptions, such drastic assumptions about my character. How dare you? Well, anyways, yeah. <laughs> Easy enough. And it looks like we're going to get a follower after this. How'd I know you'd be deadly in a fight? You'll have to accept my apologies for dragging you into that, but I can't afford to be stopped. Not now. My name is Skye. It's good to see there's someone else in this place who can't stand these slaving dogs. We make quite the pair. 